you know how great it feels when you actually get a good workout in and then stretch afterwards, actually take the time to stretch and really get your muscles loosened up after you work out. Well, that feeling can also be yours in business. And I am really excited to talk to you about kind of what I've been reflecting on living at the beach, doing some yoga, um, and still working and thinking about you and perhaps where you are right now, which is feeling a little bit stuck or kind of in a tight place or a little bit like everything is not firing on all cylinders. So I want to talk to you today about four things that will help you get back into a great flow in your job. You ready? Okay. The first one is to get out of your comfort zone. You know, you've got to get up off the couch, so to speak, in your job and do something that makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. The first thing that I like to talk about with this is just do it. Just get past your fear and do it. I was for years afraid of getting my pilot's license because I thought I would fail. But I took the step, which was downloading the videos to study for my pilot's license. It was signing up to take my test and then having to study to get to the point that I was able to take my written test. It was scheduling time off so that I could get my in airplane lessons done and actually get my pilot's license. And I know that's a big get out of your comfort zone thing, but there are small things that you can do if you're an introvert, like believe it or not, I am networking may be a big deal for you. And so make a point to meet just two people at the next event you go to, or reach out to two people you think you'd like to know on LinkedIn and send them a personal note, get out of your comfort zone. So one way to get on stuff is to get out of your comfort zone. And the second way is to change your routine. This might be as easy as just changing how you start your morning. What's your morning routine look like? Is that something that you could change up a little bit? If you work out in the evenings, what would happen if you worked out in the morning? If you open your email first thing when you start working, what would happen if you did your important thinking before you opened your email? Switch up that routine and see if that helps. You could also do something like switching your physical office space around. Maybe clean off your desk or get things organized or change around your sitting location so that you can look out the window every once in a while and get a different perspective. So first, try getting out of your comfort zone. Second, try switching up your routine. The third thing I recommend to my coaching clients is to get a different perspective. So I did this in a major way over the last couple of years by sitting on a board that was comprised of 30 women all working at the same problem from a different perspective. We had been appointed by the um, Department of Transportation to look at why there's so few women in aviation and aerospace and to make some recommendations about that. And I was a little bit surprised at the diversity of the group that I was in. There were educators in the group. There were historians and museum curators in the group. There were people who run flight schools and people who are executives at airlines in this group. There was someone who had been the secretary of the U.S. Air Force, and there was someone else who was actively serving in the military at the time. Getting a different perspective enabled us to really broaden our thinking and to broaden the solutions that we brought to the table. So get out of your comfort zone, change your routine, get into a situation where you're forced to get a different perspective. And finally, don't do this alone. Oh my gosh, when I go to have a massage, I'm looser than if I try to stretch my all by myself. When I go to a yoga class, I get deeper into a stretch than I do on my own. And I want to challenge you today not to get out of where you're stuck in your job all by yourself. That's why I've created a five-day challenge, and I want you to join. You can see the link to sign up just below, but also 
I want you to bring a couple of friends or coworkers along for the ride. We're not going to get into anything super personal in the videos that I send you, but I am going to ask you to do some thinking and to challenge yourself in five areas over these five days. It just takes 10 minutes a day. And I know that when you're finished with this one week of short videos and prompts, your job will definitely be better and you will have gotten at least partially unstuck. I'm thinking about you. I'm hoping that if you're listening to me, that this resonated with you today and that you're ready for a challenge and to take your life and your work to a new level.